I find with my little eye. My little Bree Bree. If you remember, Hello. I was trying to breed the girls for February babies. And I'm really so thankful that it didn't work out because in the end, this would have been such a hard time for me to be ready for kidding. And I think that the, the physical, um, you know, strength that would have taken me to be here with them and have a clean barn and have everything ready for babies, it would have been too much. So This morning, I just felt awful. I went through, I don't want to go into details, but you know, I had this medicine that is still in me and it was giving me a super bad allergic reaction. Now, this was about a week ago and still today I am still feeling all the effects and this morning I woke up with no energy my body was aching it was heavy I couldn't move and I really couldn't get to the barn until 10 in the morning and if you have your goats outside and if they have hay you shouldn't I mean it's not a big deal if you feed them their grain or their pellets later but if you have them inside like I do just understanding that I did not have the physical ability to get out the door and come to the back and open that door. I have a solo duck I decided to come and visit. Your friends are all on the other side. I know that there's a duck outside. Arya, come here. Arya, that duck is not gonna eat you. Come here, Ma. Aria, that duck is not gonna hurt you. You're gonna be fine. I know, it's so scary, but you're okay. You're pretty. Like, I know. So, as I always say, things sometimes don't work out, but they're the best for you. And at this point, that was the best for me. I mean, I do want the babies to be here, but at the same time, I'm low key enjoying seeing everyone else having kids, like their kidding season before mine. I'm kind of living for that. I cannot wait for new videos to be up. I cannot wait to check my Facebook to see my friends when they have, you know, their goats and their kidding. I'm not gonna lie, it's also giving me a little anxiety because I was watching different videos and the girls look at me like, anxiety? Um, yeah, um, because like there's people taking goats to the vet and you know, I always talk about my vet, my vet and how I can get advice online, but she's not in the area anymore and there's not a really close by vet it probably take me a couple of hours to get to one so that kind of gives me anxiety just think about um, and at the same time it makes me think I need to be extra ready for kidding season and I've ordered all my books and all the things that I like to read before kidding season to refresh in my memory what needs to be done if things don't go right. You know, I've had some tricky situations with birds and all I can say is that sometimes if you have the knowledge, well, at least that my that's my motto, if you do have the knowledge, um, that adrenaline kind of takes over and you're able to do a lot more than you think. And um, I always tell this to my husband, you know, get the knowledge, read about it, think about it, watch videos about it and then um, because even if you don't think you can do it given the circumstances if you love your animals you're do you're gonna do whatever is necessary despite you not wanting to do it or thinking that you're going to fail you're gonna try and I think that's all that matters you're a hay monster And I am a big girl. Yes, yes. I fight with little boys. Oh, here's this little boy. Little boy, you want to come hang what out do you with think me? What are you doing here? Mama. 
What are you? Yeah, your friend is up there, worried about you. <coughs> That's not what you do. Go home. When you're on the wrong side of a fence. Hi, Gaia. Gaia is so spooked. I don't know why she's so spooked. I think it's just her hormones. She just. She's always scared. Like anybody does anything bad to her. Like. She's a brat. You are a brat. This grunt, you know, take it, Gaia. It's better than nothing. Yes, ma'am. I know. I know. You're itchy. You have a belly. I have a belly. I do spend a lot of time here in the barn. A lot of time. It doesn't matter if it's around kitten season, if it is because there's babies here, if I'm milking, whatever the case may be, I always find time to come and sit with them. But if there is one of the most boring seasons of the year, it's this time of the year because they do not, I'm telling you, do not care that I'm here. All I want to do is eat. I mean, all I see are butts. They are 100% ignoring me. This is the time to get things done, uh, you know, outside while they're eating and, you know, living their best life the last few weeks of pregnancy, but they're all ignoring me, like, 24-7. The little girls are the ones that, as soon as they're done with breakfast, they're fine, and then they'll come hang out. Uh, but there's, like, a sweet spot I'm gonna say that right now it'd be between maybe noon and three o'clock where they're kind of nice and they want to be pet and they want to be with you and they want you to you know be around but the rest they do not care if anybody's around all they care is that that hay feeder is full that they get their morning pellets, their lunch pellets, their dinner pellets, and that, that's, that's all they care about, growing those children in the belly. So this is the time where I just come and I <laughs> touch their udders and I annoy them a little bit, but they still don't care. They really don't care. Look, somebody's gonna try to be nice to me. Oh my goodness, are you trying to make me feel better about myself? I'm telling you, the little girls are the ones that are done eating and they just come. But the moms, they're like monsters. Spooky monsters. Oh no, no, don't tell me that you are. No way. No way. I will not accept that. No, I'm so sorry, Arya. Come here, come here, sweet girl. Come here. She'd rather eat my camera. Come here. You need a pretty car. Yes, ma'am. You do need one. Yes. You are so pretty. I love your eyes. I love your eyes. And I love your ears. I itchy and itchy. Oh, you just want to make me feel better? Well, thank you. My feelings were getting hurt. I was like, why is nobody loving on Grandma Maz? D really? Oh, you're so, so super sweet. I love you, sweet girl. You're not going to be only a beautiful mom with having 
some beautiful children, but then a super sweet mama. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Super, super sweet. Oh, you're so sweet. I love you, mama. You're such a good mommy. Would you like to have a boyfriend? Okay. No, no boyfriend, not yet. But then one day you can have a boyfriend. Now my question is, hey, you okay? Do you like Dom? Is Dom cute for you, mommy? No, you don't like Dom? He's pretty handsome and he's pretty sweet. Yeah, he is. He is very, very sweet. He loves his girlfriend. Yes, he does. And he is not rough. He's not chasing girlies. Like, oh, I will love on them. They eat. And they eat. Oh, I mentioned how much they eat. People were wondering about Clara. Clara is an eating machine. She was born to eat. Um, Annabelle is an eating machine. She won't stop eating all day long. She's always chewing. And it's not even the cut. She's always chewing food. Like, they're... It's like they can never stop eating. Mother and daughter. Both of them. Kind of crazy. Briar and Gaia, despite being both pregnant, they're still inseparable. Look at Gaia's other. Oh, look at the belly. Oh, goodness. God. Hello, Aria. Are you ready to give me some of the most beautiful children? I know. She doesn't want children. I'm sorry. You, you don't need to give me children right now when you're older. Not right now. No, 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 no. Aria doesn't want children right now. I love that little boy. I love you too. Ah, the belly. Mm-hmm. Full of food.